I've set up two stations and two seesaws. I've designed a challenge to test your knowledge of weights and measures, and I'm going to be playing against both of you at the same time. But oh. they Love it. So here's how you play. You have nine different liquids to choose from. Honey, grenadine, apple juice, orange juice, skim milk, soda, vinegar, vegetable oil, and rubbing alcohol. We're gonna take turns choosing a liquid and placing it on the colored sections of the seesaw. The opponent must counter with a different liquid and a different spot. The goal is to keep the board balanced. If you place a container on the board that's too heavy or too light and a balloon pops, you lose. All right, so let's keep these boards balanced, shall we? All right, let's do it. One of the keys to balancing the board is knowing the densities of these liquids. The densest liquid is honey, and the least dense liquid is rubbing alcohol. Liquids with more sugar are denser because when sugar is dissolved in water, its molecules separate from each other and cause an increase in mass in that given space. I know the densities of some of these liquids, but one I really don't know very well is this rubbing alcohol. So I'm probably gonna start with some of that so I can see where he goes from that. He's got rubbing alcohol, which is the least dense liquid. I could counterbalance that by putting something half as far away from the center, but twice as heavy, apple juice. Now, I'm gonna place this right here. All right, guy, I'm unlocking the board. Okay, I'm ready. The board is unlocked. And the board stayed balanced. Most people think of a seesaw as a kid's playground toy, but it's actually a great example of a lever, which is a straight board that pivots on a stationary point called a fulcrum. Archimedes' law of the lever states that a lever's input force is amplified the farther it is from the fulcrum. So heavier objects need to be placed closer to the fulcrum at the center of the board in order to balance out lighter items that are farther away. We create challenges designed to outwit each other. Ooh, boy. Take it easy, big guy. My IQ ranks me in the top 2% of the population. Don't like the title of genius, but I'm probably the smartest guy in the room. I'm the smartest guy in the room.